Welcome to the ET335 to Morgan's Theory Labs Auto Alarm Hints. Here I am in multi-sim and I've opened up the file which I'm going to give you which has some of the basic logic and our switches so you could build your circuit for our auto alarm. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to move this switch unit down and we're going to use two and gates. So I want to copy and paste that. And this is the, the simplest way to do it. Just use the and gates. And we'll use a probe. Show when the light's on. And let's go ahead and I'm going to use an OR gate because that's a good logic device. I'm going to hang on to our inverter just in case we need it. And I'm going to get rid of the NANDs and ORs because it's just a lot of some extra work we're going to keep our clock so we can flash it later and let's go ahead and get rid of that okay so let's go ahead and keep our switches so we need let's see that whoops let's go ahead and fix that so let's go ahead and move our key come on there we go And we're going to need two of these, or actually we're going to need uh, two inputs. So let's copy. So we're going to use our door and window. And let's go ahead and we're going to paste our ignition and our alarm switch. Okay. So let's go ahead and attach. So we're going to just go ahead and complete this. We're going to have one AND feed into another AND. We're going to use our OR gate. And we're going to tie these two inputs. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and call this guy W. We're going to make it our window. So let's go all the way down to W. Okay, I'm going to call this guy D for door. And let's just call this guy ignition I. And let's call this A for alarm. And if we wanted to label it, we could go to place and text. If you wanted to make it a uh, little better looking, go ahead and do that. Oops. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and tie. If this is ignition, so let's go ahead and use an inverter there to make it look like an ignition is when it's off, we don't want it. We want it to, uh, to work. So. So if this one's high, we want it to be low. And when the ignition is off, we want to be able to enable our control gate. So these two are control gates, and this would be our logic gate. Good. And that looks good for now. So let's go ahead and test it here. Okay, so let's test it. Let's turn it on and close this out and let's get it ready to go. So let's go ahead. So our alarm needs to be on. So we're going to hit A. So our alarm's on. Our ignition needs to be off. And let's go ahead and shut our window off and our door off. Okay, so let's break our window. Go to W we have an alarm. Okay, let's break our door. Alarm. So let's do both window and door. Good. So let's go ahead and turn our ignition on, which we don't want our car alarm on. Good. And let's turn off the alarm switch and it's both off. Great. All right, now that our alarm's working, let's go ahead and make a flasher. So let's turn off our circuit. Let's remove our probe. And let's copy and paste another 
control gate. Let's put our probe back in for our alarm. And let's go ahead and take our uh, clock. 1 hertz, 5 volts, perfect. And let's go ahead and connect them. Good. So now we have our flasher. It's on, so let's go ahead and run it, see if we flash. Let's close this out, and we have it flashing. So let's go ahead and turn off our ignition. Stopped. Alarm stopped. So here's our flasher. And that's all. Thank <laughs> you.